2018 Vauxhall Casa Hatchback Review. The good points of Vauxhall Casa Hatchback. Packed with equipment. More engaging they are driving. Sweet 1.0 liter engines. Fine VXR performance. The bad points of Vauxhall Casa Hatchback. Heavy facelift of previous Casa. Falling behind the opposition. Non turbo engines weaker. Firm sports suspension. One from the best selling small cars in Britain. The Vauxhall Casa was thoroughly overhauled following 2014 making sure that it's in a very better position to defend myself against the likes from the Ford Fiesta the Renault Clio plus the Volkswagen Polo. Yes, you watched that right, this can be a significant makeover from the previous Casa but not an all new model. It's more than simply a facelift though, as all body panels barring the cover are new. Even though the underpinnings remain depending on the previous generations, they've been considerably revised. Raft of upgrades The biggest visual changes because of this generation Casa are located at the front the place that the nose is longer plus much more expressive, with distinctive new headlights and also a lower, wider grille. It's no accident which it shares an extremely close resemblance on the Vauxhall Atom. The cost is more fashion focused sibling. Climb inside plus the Adam theme continues which has a much improved dashboard featuring soft touch plastics for that upper molding, more technology nearly all version advantages from the IntelliLink multimedia package, but basically the same amount of space as before since the fundamental cabin dimension is carried over. It's the inside profile where this plus the previous Casa iterations look most similar as being the windows continue into this generation. The more coupe-like glass outline with the three-door is slightly extended by way of a glossy applique just behind the rearmost side window. New look for your five-door Casa. The five doors makeover might be more clever, with metal work that curves upwards for the outside from the rear door to frame the glass differently. Inside it's less convincing with black foil stuck for the glass instead in the interior door panel mirroring the outdoors. At the back a corner ends of both three and five door courses are brought into line with identical treatment featuring horizontal tail lights as well as a large Vauxhall badge that stands proud from the tailgate doubling as being a release handle with the hatch. It drives significantly superior to before too. Riding more pliantly on comfort suspension models but occasionally with excessive firmness on individuals with a sports setup. Refreshed petrol engines. Under the reprofiled front with the latest Casa can be a combination of improved and all new engines, the main focus being efficiency in lieu of high performance, none in the range completes the 062 miles per hour acceleration inside of 10 seconds save for your red and black editions as well as the flagship Casa VXR introduced in spring 2015. VXR aside, the headline grabbing engine could be the new 3-cylinder 1.0-liter turbocharged petrol, in 90 horsepower and 115 horsepower outputs. We were particularly in awe of its refinement and balance between speed and efficiency. It's also quieter than Ford's similarly sized Deco Boost engine. Depending on wheel size, the Lauer powered version in the two units boasts claims around 65.7 miles per gallon and 100 gkm of CO2. Upgraded diesels and powerful VXR. It's not the most beneficial Casa though. That honor still belongs towards the 1.3 liter KD diesels in 75 horsepower and 95 horsepower forms, where Vauxhall claims as much as 88.3 miles per gallon, contributing to CO2 emissions of 85 gkm. There's a good amount of performance on tap using the cost of VXR, because of its 206 horsepower 1.6 liter turbo engine 
Top speed is 143 miles per hour, although it will scorch from 062 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds. Depending on trim, other engines such as a 70 horsepower 1.2 liter petrol, which has been dropped in 2016, and three versions with the 1.4 liter delivering 75 horsepower, 90 horsepower, 100 horsepower, and 150 horsepower. That 90 horsepower version is usually available with options of unconventional automatic as well as an improved version from the robotized manual that changes gears automatically, called EasyTronic. All other courses have 5 or 6 speed manual gearboxes. Broad range and filled with equipment. Vox Alls experimented with Simplify the outgoing Cosses range but it really still wound up with 11 trim levels because of the middle of 2016. All of those are well equipped in comparison with rivals, an electrically heated windscreen and cruise control are standard on all versions. Every Cossa barring the entry level Sting and Sting R has LED day or running lights, in Vox Alls signature wing formation. Best of all, model for model lifts more affordable than its predecessor. The verdict. It's all too easy to overlook the Vauxhall Casa, especially compared together with the younger Ford Fiesta, Cita Visa or Volkswagen Polo, however it's still an outstanding choice from the small hatchback market. It's good drive an automobile, finely honed and is also available in the wide variety of trims and specs geared to most needs. The top of the line VXR model is definitely an acquired taste, and hard to rationally justify, though the rest with the range is competent yet still very much worth recommendation. Stick with one small petrol engines, and also you can't go far wrong. Is this host of well-judged revisions destined to be enough to take it close for the leaders from the small car pack? Watch full new Vauxhall Casa review, smoother of the 1.0 liter is usually a gem. Non-turbo 1.4 pit rolls are slow. VXR outaccelerates the Fiesta Street, an overhauled choice of petrol and diesel engines features a fine new three-cylinder motor and it is headed by way of a 206 horsepower unit for your VXR, but overall performance from the Vauxhall Casa lineup comes second to efficiency. Revised Petrol Range Unless you cover significantly high mileages, petrol engines tend to fit smaller cars superior to diesels, hence why there are lots of them available. Most interesting could be the three-cylinder. 1.0 liter turbo accessible in 90 horsepower and 115 horsepower forms, both producing 170 newton meters from 1,800 revolutions per minute. It's a refined and relatively hushed engine, generating a far less intrusive engine note than Ford's 1.0 liter EcoBoost does within the Fiesta, but performance is adequate instead of sporty. Up to the 90 horsepower version and also you'll view a top speed of 112 miles per hour, accelerating from 062 miles per hour in 11.9 seconds. The 115 horsepower addition generates figures of 121 miles per hour in 10.3 seconds. With standard start stop function and also other EcoFlex fuel saving measures, together which has a 6 speed manual gearbox. Fuel efficiency is rated between 62.8 miles per gallon and 65.7 miles per gallon for that 90 horsepower version and 56.5 miles per gallon and 57.6 miles per gallon with the 115 horsepower model, depending on wheel size and variety of doors, producing CO2 emissions between 100 GKM and 117 GKM. The turbocharged 1.4 liter motor produces 100 horsepower but more torque at 200 newton meters from 1850 revolutions per minute, delivering a 115 miles per hour top speed along with an 11 second time for that 062 miles per hour acceleration test. Wheel size and the body style impact upon efficiency, 
Vauxhall claims between 54.3 miles per gallon and 55.4 miles per gallon, with CO2 output starting from 119 GKM to 123 GKM. A 5-speed manual transmission is standard. Available only using the red and black edition trim can be a 150 horsepower version in the 1.4 liter turbo, delivering a high speed of 129 miles per hour and completing the 062 miles per hour run in 8.9 seconds. Efficiency is officially rated at between 48.7 miles per gallon and 49.6 miles per gallon with CO2 emissions quoted at 132 to 133 GKM. Completing the petrol lineup are naturally aspirated 1.4-liter units, with 75 horsepower and 90 horsepower respectively, the lower-powered version replacing the previously available 1.2-liter with 70 horsepower in spring 2016. The 75 horsepower derivative will be the slowest in the courses, trundling around 101 miles per hour and choosing a leisurely 15.5 seconds to perform the 062 miles per hour test. With its 5 speed manual gearbox, efficiency is rated between 54.3 miles per gallon and 55.4 miles per gallon, with CO2 emissions of 118 to 120 gkm. There's more variation with all the 1.4 liter though, its standard 5-speed manual gearbox might be optionally substituted with either a self-shifting robotized EZ Tronic 5-speed manual, or maybe a new 6-speed conventional automatic transmission. Top speed to the manual and EZ Tronic is 109 miles per hour, as the automatics is 106 miles per hour accelerating from your standstill to 62 miles per hour takes 13.2 seconds within the manual, 13.9 seconds with all the other gearboxes. Wheel size and the body style again influence efficiency for the 1.4 liter Casa. Manual versions post figures of 54.3 miles per gallon to 55.4 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions of 119 GKM to 122 GKM, beaten with the Easy Tronic 58. 960.1 miles per gallon, 110112 GKM but outperforming the automatic models 47. 147.9 miles per gallon. 139140 GKM Duo of diesels If you cover the type of mileage that will need a diesel there are two improved versions in the 1.3 liter KT, producing 75 horsepower and 95 horsepower. Both motors are fitted having a 5-speed manual gearbox, EcoFlex braking energy recovery and start-stop functions. Choose the lower power diesel as well as your top speed potential is curbed at 102 miles per hour, going from 062 miles per hour in a very pedestrian 14.8 seconds. The 94 bhp engine manages 113 miles per hour and 11.9 seconds. As is often a theme for the Casa, wheel size and the entire body style vary the claimed efficiency results. The 75 horsepower posts figures of 74.3 miles per gallon to 76.3 miles per gallon, with CO2 emissions of 99 GKM to 100 GKM, these are bested through the 95 horsepower version 83. 188.3 miles per gallon, 85-89 GKM CO2. Rapid cost of VXR flagship. Despite the performance pack's name, written the Vauxhall cost of VXR's speed will be the same whether you have it fitted. The numbers say it'll cover 062 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, which can be very quick with the price in the car, and top speed is surely an impressive 143 miles per hour, but numbers mean little without perspective, and Vauxhall include the first to boast until this car is slightly quicker to accelerate from 062 miles per hour than its main rival the Ford Fiesta Street. Even better is just how great it sounds using its Remus exhaust. 
the aftermarket specialist firm has produced a system which reduces back pressure for better performance. Nevertheless it sounds great too, especially using the performance pack fitted. The turbocharged 1.6 liter is smooth, versatile and refined, though we did find there was two weight longer than the figures suggest to the full 280 newton meters of torque. Vauxhall claims it's provided by just 1,900 revolutions per minute, but within the higher gears you'll have to have to wait until a minimum of 2,500 revolutions per minute for something that occurs. Even then it's only obtainable for 5 seconds on overboost. Still, it can do feel as though it's got the whole 206 horsepower and 245 newton meters the firm claims during normal driving. It's a superb job too, since there's another aspect to this particular car's performance that feels brilliant, the gear change. A conventional NOF 6-speed manual box, the VXR may be given a heavily revised, short-shifting lever which is definitely an absolute joy make use of. Much improved driver involvement. More accurate steering along the range. Sportier models feature stiffer suspension. Previous editions of Vauxhall's Casa haven't been blessed together with the most engaging of driving experiences. To report positively within the current model's handling traits is often a welcome change. Although this Casa is in accordance with the old car's underpinnings, the suspension continues to be thoroughly improved. This means it besides rides with greater compliance particularly models with 16-inch wheels or smaller, but it really also feels noticeably more nimble and precise inside way it changes direction. A center of gravity lowered by 5 mm includes a positive effect, especially in combination together with the stiffer underbody plus more accurate electrical energy steering, tuned specifically for your UK's rougher roads. Sports chassis is stiffer with additional direct steering. Courses riding on 17-inch wheels employ a stiffer suspension arrangement, as well as being a retuned, more direct steering setup. Combined with all the more powerful 1.0-liter engine, it makes a great attempt at being fun to operate a vehicle, cornering flatly as winding broads are tackled with enthusiasm, yet remaining positively compliant about. Where this setup generally seems to fall down has finished undulating surfaces at higher speeds the location where the cause's composure is lost, your body control feeling like it's still dealing with all the previous bump when you hit another one. You can forgive this more if your cause is a slightly faster one, but combine the stiffer suspension having a less powerful engine plus the combination isn't alluring. Under heavier braking over such road surfaces you're conscious that the auto has a tendency to skip over the dips from the undulations, making the Casa feel just a little unstable. Performance Pack Transforms Casa VXR We couldn't review this aspect on the VXR without first mentioning Hoses a casino game of two cars, the normal one plus the optional Performance Pack equipped version. As an ordinary car without optional extras, it could be difficult for us to call the cost of VXR's handling anything apart from above average. Its steering carries a decent off weight into it though the lack of any clever front differential means the interior wheel spins up about the exit of corners, and that's regarding it. This VXR also doesn't change direction in as sprightly a way because it sits slightly higher with softer settings from the dampers, so there's a modicum more body roll there. Its suspension is usually a clever system which Vauxhall claims regulates itself, by using a valve system to instantly adjust the vehicle's firmness in accordance with the road conditions you're driving on. In simple terms, the damper decides how soft or firm your vehicle needs to be. It's a method which works as good as, but is advisable forgotten about really considering that the driver doesn't have control over it. You'll probably do not be able to detect the main difference between the two unless you're testing in a very lab environment, 
Nevertheless it's worth noting that on a regular VXR there's a noticeably more at ease ride when driving slowly. To really transform it into a rival with the cream in the crop with this class, namely the Ford Fiesta Street along with the Peugeot 208 GTI by Peugeot Sport, you are going to have to install the performance pack. Very firm ride with performance pack. Available from new only like a factory fitted extra, the Vauxhall cost of VXR with performance pack is definitely an entirely different thing. Forget any semblance of ride comfort, the clever adaptive dampers from specialists Connie make no apologies here. The suspension springs allow the vehicle to sit 10 mm lower compared to previous generation in this car but additionally get retuned for any harder setting which eliminates most body roll. Instead you receive a car that changes direction impressively while boasting spectacular traction thanks towards the clever limited slip differential. This latter feature, built by specialist Strexler, is really a huge part from the hot cause's appeal. It utterly transforms the handling offering a degree of driver engagement that few on this sector can rival. Simply get the vehicle turned in and set the power down, you'll be astonished with the purchase you afforded, even on wet and greasy roads. The steering is really a nicely set up system too, feeling direct and accurate but well weighted for enthusiastic driving. Special mention here goes towards the steering wheel which can be sculpted to learn effectively to keep the driver's hands from the correct positon. Latest dashboard feels top quality. Logical layout with decent switch gear. Plenty of driving position adjustment. While similarities between previous and this also generation of Casa are obvious inside and outside despite the makeover. The Alnu dashboard does much to lift the ambience inside Vauxhall. It's a large quality jump on the harder, unappealing plastics of the company's predecessor, for this one with a lot of glossy black surfaces along with a squidgy soft touch molding for your top in the dashboard. Not only does it feel more premium, it's better built and suppresses noise better too. Some in the switchgear is carried over business Vauxhalls like the thick, cylindrical steering column ones for wipers and indicators, but there's a pleasurable action to most in the buttons and controls. Particularly simple to use would be the 7-inch IntelliLink Multimedia Color Touch Screen, designed for energy models and above. Its clear graphics and responsive interface don't make it hard to use for the move and also providing a USB audio connection and Bluetooth syncing for phone and streaming purposes, but why the screen should go black if the volumes adjusted can be as distracting because it is baffling. Optimizing your driving comfort is often a dawdle, that has a high adjustable driver's seat designed for all courses, similar to a leader adjustable for reach and angle and electric door mirrors. Forward visibility is great aided because of the small triangular windows ahead with the front doors, while rearward vision is usually improved with all the optional reversing camera standard on elite and parking sensors. Standard suspension will be the best setup. Sports suspension lacks compliance at speed. Performance pack VXR is rock solid. Stick with models riding on 16-inch wheels or smaller along with the improvements in Vauxhall Cossy comfort levels are impressive. It remains a really easy car they are driving, though with superior bump and rut absorption than before, as well being a lighter, more direct power steering system, which could be lightened further to improve urban nimbleness. Overall, it feels a plusher environment to waste time in with plenty of equipment and higher grade materials used through the cabin, although its dimension is carried over from before. How much room is there in the Vauxhall Casa? This isn't this type of bad thing since the outgoing Casa would be a spacious small car, meaning two six-footers should be capable of relaxing reasonable room behind front seat occupants of your similar height. Squeezing a fifth person from the center rear seat is less bearable. 
Finding the right driving position is not hard, all models have a very high adjustable driver's seat as well as a steering column adjustable for both angle and distance. Visibility is great too, the cost is large glass area continuing from before. All models barring the Sting and Sting R have aircon as standard while climate control is optionally available within the limited edition and above, and standard for the Elite. Compromised comfort with bigger wheels. Infotainment is boosted while using energy models onwards, full of Vauxhall's IntelliLink touchscreen. The graphics do understand and responsive, Bluetooth connectivity is effective too. But we didn't like how if you adjust the degree the whole screen goes black save for your white numbers, a tad distracting within your peripheral vision when using the tire controls. Comfort is usually compromised on Elite, Limited Edition, Red and Black Editions and 3VX line models using 17-inch alloy wheels as well as the sports suspension settings that is included in them. It's noticeably stiffer, but nevertheless compliant out partying, yet on rougher surfaced roads at higher speeds the firmness may become tiresome. Ride comfort not much of a VXR strength. With the VXR it's significantly a game of two halves. If you're after the hot hatch which has a more cosseting ride over a Ford Fiesta Street or perhaps a Renault Sport Clio 200, this is it. We found it relatively quiet inside cabin plus the engine. While sounding a bit hard worked with the top on the rev range, never drones on irritatingly. The recaro seats are particularly good, it's an organization noted for its motorsport drive seating which once have become supportive in any other case the last word in soft, so feel like luxury. However, if you're looking for any hot hatch that has a bone joring chassis, Plenty of road noise, a loud exhaust and brilliant handling, this is it too, once you've spexed the performance pack. The mix of large wheels, sticky high performance tires and lowered suspension isn't a cushy car rolling around in its fastest and best handling form. That differential doesn't help here either, because it includes a tendency to tug on the steering wheel when cornering so it's a continuing battle. Sure. It will help it to manage well, but it really is not one of the most relaxing experience. 11 trim levels overall from Sting to VXR. All feature heated windscreens and cruise control. Lots of variation including Luxury Elite from 2016. Despite claiming to possess simplified kids. By summer 2016 the Corsair range had expanded to 11 trim levels, Sting, Sting R, Energy, Limited Edition, Red Black Edition, Design, Say, Elite, 3, 3 VX Line and VXR. Standard Vauxhall Corsair Equipment Regardless of trim, all courses come having a wealth of standard equipment including an incredibly useful electric light heated windscreen. Bluetooth and Owen connectivity, hill start assist, cruise control, and electrically adjustable door mirrors. You go for six airbags, audio controls for the steering wheel, which incidentally is adjustable for reach and rake, plus a lighter city mode steering function. Opt with a slightly sporter looking Sting model and in addition to your above you'll find body colored door handles twin white body stripes with matching white door mirror housings and grille bar, 16-inch alloy wheels also in white and black foil within the door pillars. You can build upon this specification while using three-door only Sting are the Sting's white stripes and detailing are finished in black instead, plus there's a flat-bottomed VX line sports controls, gear knob, and sportier pedals, and also a chrome effect exhaust and sports suspension. Slightly plainer may be the energy trim which builds within the standard trim, adding normal 16-inch alloys, LED daytime running lights, air con, front fog lights, the IntelliLink speakers with DAB radio, and USB reference to iPod control, automatic lights and windscreen wipers, and the body color door handles. Helping you have going from the winter are heated door mirrors, 
tire and front seats. Slightly confusingly the limited edition is part in the standard range and over the common kit furthermore, it gains 17-inch black alloy wheels, roof, mirror housings and grille bar, complemented having a body kit, sports suspension, pedals and seats, heated door mirrors, LED day or running lights, front fog lamps, air con, trip computer along with the IntelliLink multimedia system. You also receive the OnStar Connected Services package we've covered separately. Building with this are the red and black edition cars which might be powered exclusively through the 150 horsepower 1.4 liter turbo petrol engine and add 17 inch diamond cut alloy wheels and weather flame red or carbon flash paint job. Targeting fleet buyers specifically may be the role with the design specification. Over the conventional spec it comes with all the IntelliLink system, air con audio controls within the leather wrapped leader, front fog lights and 15 inch steel wheels with trims made to look like alloys. Luxury touches set out to appear together with the say, which builds upon the design standard equipment with the help of Vauxhall on star, 16 inch alloy wheels, a heated steam wheel and front seats, 60 hours 40 minutes split rear seat, trip computer, automatic lights and wipers, front fog lights, Chrome exterior trim and parking sensors. Topping the cost is more prestigious side as Elite introduced in spring 2016. It adds 17 inch wheels and sports suspension, climate control, Bixen on headlamps, a reversing camera, and rear privacy glass for the SAIS kit roster. Aimed at those looking for slightly more excitement will be the SRI trim, which adds aircon. 16 inch black alloy wheels for the three door, silver for the five front fog lights, sports front seats and pedals, IntelliLink system, trip computer, heated door mirrors, automatic lights and wipers, LED day or running lights, and 60 hours 40 minutes split rear seats. Next up around the cost's sportier side may be the Sri VX line. It raises the Sri's kit list with 17 inch alloy wheels together with the sport suspension arrangement, a beefier body kit plus a chroma look exhaust pipe finisher. Flagship regarding cost and performance may be the cost of VXR. There's a particular body kit which carries a totally revised front with that distinctive scoop below the bonnet. Side skirts result in the profile more desirable as also does a set of 17-inch alloy wheels, and for the rear from the car there's that Remus exhaust system with twin tailpipes flanking a dark, diffuser-style rear bumper. The boot sports a rear spoiler which Vauxhall claims adds meaningful downforce. The VXR also sports Bixen on headlights as standard together with LED daytime running lights, while inside there is really a pair of Recaro bucket seats a three-spoke leather tire, its own VXR instrument panel, sports pedals and aircon. Optional Vauxhall Cossia Accessories With countless models as well as a wealth of standard equipment anyway, options to personalize the Cossia are limited and largely constrained to pieces of safety equipment. Depending within the model you are able to specify aircon or electronic climate control after only greater temperature setting precision. Parking sensors can also be found on many models, as can be a reversing camera and self-parking function. Bixen on headlamps with cornering function is usually additionally fitted, with the automatic main beam function available too cover a great deal of motorway miles and features for example blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning and traffic sign recognition might become more desirable, while specifying forward collision warning could help reduce your insurance fees. Most interesting, if you're a cyclist, could be the inbuilt flex fix rack that slides out on the lower rear bumper, and large enough to securely hold a two of bikes. What the Casa doesn't offer will be the degree of customization accessible to customers on the smaller, more fashion-focused Atom. Rated 4 stars by Euro and Cap. 
nose design absorbs impacts better. Plenty of safety kit agreeable to help. Vauxhall says the urine cap test might be more rigorous than before, that's why this Casa carries a 4 star rating in comparison with its predecessor's 5. Its longer nose gives better absorption of energy from the unfortunate event of any frontal accident, while each Casa is filled with 6 airbags to help expand cushion the blow inside the event of an crash. Further safety precautions include Bluetooth connectivity for mobile phone devices and LED day or running has lights front to make certain you're seen quicker. Front fog lights are standard on higher spec models too, with Bixen on headlamps featuring on Elite and VXR models. Lots of safety kit within the options list. While the newest Casa is bristling with standard equipment, a lot of it is regarding making life far more than being safe at a specific. If you would like your small Vox all fitted with safe at high enhancing headlamps with cornering function, collision avoidance warning, blind spot warning and lane departure notifications you'll should take away for the options box. One safety and convenience feature you welcome on frosty mornings may be the electric light heated windscreen, installed as standard equipment on all courses. It's also worth noting that with all the performance pack the VXR can be a lively little thing, especially on greasy roads. The differential tugs on the steering, meaning you need to be around the ball continually. If this doesn't appear to be much fun, maybe you want to consider the normal car instead. The flip side could be that the performance pack includes better brakes and tires so it'll stop and grip greater than standard cars. Boot space is okay in spite of the cost's age. Split rear seats not standard along the range. VXR only available as being a three-door. Small cars are never destined to be vast carry-alls efficient at carrying home enormous boxes of Scandinavian flat pack. But despite its carry-over cabin space Vauxhall Casa practicality remains reasonably good. Yes, it's spacious enough for four adults to inhabit the inside relatively comfortably, with storage for just a few odds and ends inside the front door bins and from the remodeled dashboard. There are no practicality party tricks just like a flip-forward front passenger seat to let the Casa to take longer loads with less effort aside from your flex fix rack. This optional device slides out such as a cassette from the back bumper revealing an inbuilt bicycle rack, detailed with supplementary rear lights for visibility and legality. We were disappointed that only the more expensive priced say and delete models come which has a 60 hours 40 minutes split rear seat as standard, compromising the cost's flexibility. Boot space itself though is reasonable, at 285 liters using the seats up and 1050 liters with the spine ones tumbled over. This compares well on the Ford Fiesta 290 liters seats up, 974 liters folded and Volkswagen Polo 280 liters and 952 liters but is trumped from the Renault Clio 300 liters and 1146 liters.